that's all Gibson guitars. Like, what? This next handful of videos is going to be awesome. I'm making a trip to see the most music gear under one roof, I think anywhere in the world. We're gonna do a whole bunch of gear shootouts, microphone shootouts. This is going to be crazy. I'm gonna pick out a new acoustic guitar because my guitar over there, some of you have seen, it's got a hole in the top of it and it's had five sets of frets. It's time for a replacement. Crazy cool studios. Let's have some fun. This is fancy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Who's that guy? We're just getting in there. Good to see you. Dude, <laughs> are you rolling? Yeah, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, check out the hotel room. What are you doing here? I've had uh, a Hawaiian roll with a slice of ham on it and a pack of m and today and it's like 8.30 p.m. Drug him out to go get food. Now it's snowing. I don't know what's happening. Okay, getting ready to go get some coffee, get some breakfast, and then we're gonna, we're gonna head out, go see all this stuff. Pretty pumped. Let's go. All right, so we are finally here at Sweetwater. We're gonna take a look at this ridiculous campus, all the music store. We're gonna take a look at the warehouse and all their crazy conveyor belts. We're gonna take a look at the studios. They have crazy world-class studios here. This is gonna be fun, let's go. This is Ryan. What's Hello. up, man? Good to uh, see you. Ryan is going to give us some bullet points yeah. on our way through here. Is this like history? Yeah, started in 1979 as a four track tape recorder out of a VW bus, not this one. So we started off as a studio before we went into the sales. And what got us into the sales was the Kurzweil K250, one of the first sampling synthesizer keyboards out there. What we did is we created our own sounds. So that's what set us apart from all the other dealers out there to where it caught Stevie Wonder's attention and he wanted to use our sounds for some of his records. That kind of propelled us into the retail side of things, which is now what you see. This place is huge. Is this the music store? Wait till you see the store. Holy cow. Look at the strings. That is a crazy string wall. And then a whole bunch of, like, obviously, like, accessories, cables, the man right there, acoustic guitar room. We're gonna, we're gonna play around in there a little bit later, so we're not gonna take too much time in this video, but be sure to subscribe because we are going to be spending some time in there. But this caught my eye over here. Is that a headphone wall? So you can listen to every pair of headphones and compare them. Who's, who's that guy down there? Like, come on. That's crazy. Apple stuff. I bought my Mac Pro here. Hard drives, guitar pedals. The world's largest pedal display as well, too. The wor it actually even says that. It says up the, the world's top. largest pedal display. That's amazing. Holy cow. <laughs> and it keeps going. I mean, good lord. And on the other side. <laughs> so you literally just pick out a pedal and you throw it right here, plug it in, you've got headphones, you've got a guitar, and then you can test out any pedal and we've got multiple stations. Electric guitar room, of course we gotta check that out. <clears throat> it's 
So if you look up, you got six LED lights representing the six strings that you see on a guitar. Oh, that's cool. ISO rooms, lovely. Bass guitars. Let's see the lighting. You got more. That's that's awesome. Thank you, sir. Lighting in here has to be circular as well, too, to represent drum heads. That's amazing. Gear exchange, so used gear? Correct. Buy, sell, trade. How many people knew you could buy used gear in Sweetwater? Here we go. Okay. Okay. Of course, the lighting has to be some good acoustic cloud. Mm -hmm. Interfaces, lots and lots of interfaces, lots and lots of monitors, and something that uh, is really cool is that things are in spaced pairs, so obviously you can't split them. So there's the first one, there's the second one. Uh, let's listen to some Trio 6s, of course. So you stand right here. And then the real high-end stuff is in the studio, you can pull in the studios, yeah. And the microphone display is, is two-sided. So you have live mics on one side, studio mics on the other. That's super cool. So let me guess, orchestra pit. 
You could you could have said either, and that yeah. that would have worked. Lighting. Look at that. So many keyboards. <laughs> so many keyboards. That's awesome. I see you later. All right, so that concludes the music store portion. I just had to come finish this by the enormous pedal wall. That's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. This campus is crazy. There's no way that I'm gonna even tell you what all's here. You just gotta hang out with me through the rest of this video because the stuff in this place is insane. So let's go check out the rest of it. I'll see you soon. All right, so we are here in Sweetwater Studio A. I'm gonna give you guys a real quick and down and dirty like walkthrough. Uh, go check out Andrew's Mas Andrew Master's video. I'll put a link to his studio tour in the description below. He, he did like a real studio tour like he does. Uh, but anyway, I just wanna give you guys like a super quick peek at Studio A here at Sweetwater. So as you first walk in, obviously it's pretty incredible looking. Let's start with the, the cool stuff. We got some ATC 150s, got a whole bunch of rack gear, some retro stuff, some manly stuff, some Rupert Neve design stuff, some Chandler stuff, some SSL stuff. Uh, we've got a beautiful Neve 5088 here. Um, I mean, that's gorgeous. Of course, Focal Clear MG Pro headphones, you guys know. And uh, patch bays, bunch of 500 series gear, API, Shadow Hills, SSL, you know, the essentials back here. We've got uh, we've got some other gear, and we've got a Space Echo right there, you know, a uh, a tube tape Echo, and some Distressors, some 1176s, um, and of course, a wall of guitar amps. Bunch of cool amps. I'm sure Andrew went through all of these in his video. Ugh, machine room. So here is the entire machine room. Some spare gear, some guitar pedals, and whatnot. Let's go. And then huge window through into the live room. And this is the live room. Yeah, I am not even gonna begin to go through all the stuff in here because there's so much of it. And uh, I'm sure, again, I'm sure Andrew went through all of it. But then you got, uh, here's an ISO room here. It looks like guitar amp room, bunch of amps. There's a view from the other direction of the studio. Piano room. Which is very cool. And then uh, I think there's a drum room back here. Let's go look at that. Is there lights? Oh, turns on automatically. Drum room. Lots of drums. So. So that is the down and dirty tour of Studio A here at Sweetwater. Go check out Andrew's video for the rest of it. Let's get back to seeing the rest of the campus here at Sweetwater. Special access. Special access. Boom. Thank you. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> so, Mike Locker. This is crazy. 
Can I get back out if you close that? Yeah. Okay. You can get out. You can't get back in. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm going to go through some of these. All right, go for it. So, a whole bunch of microphones, a whole bunch of 414s. There's some KSMs, Neumanns, Sennheisers, Mojaves. I mean, it's just, ooh, we are, we are going to check that out very soon. That's going to be a cool one. Uh, we're going to check a bunch of these out in the podcast mic shootout. <sighs> Lots of cool mics, more Neumanns. Oh, it's so cool. All right, so here is a look at Studio B. Uh, I think this is going to be an Andrew Masters video as well, but this is going to be their Atmos room, PMC Atmos. Got these funky little things here. And uh, got an S6 and some some crazy PMCs. I mean, crazy. Uh, so yeah, very cool little room. Yeah, cool room. And then we can check out, uh, there is the window into the booth or the ISO, if you will. And the machine, I guess this is the machine stuff. Yeah, this must be uh, Studio B and Studio C. We'll look at Studio C in a second. This is the booth for Studio C. Cool booth. I got the lights cranked way up right now for the camera. It would normally be more vibey in here. What, what's on the stand right now? Chandler? Yeah, okay. And then let's go look at Studio C. Is there anyone in here? There's no one in here. I was trying to find Andrew. How do we get, see, this is, the, this is the vibe. That's the vibe. And then apparent, like everything is from these touch knobs. Okay, so this is gonna be Studio C. You got uh, some 500 series gear there. Computer, some more 500 series gear. You got uh, some SCM25s with some Focal subs, some patch cables, little couch. Pretty cool little overdub room, little production mastering style room. And this is going to be the booth. Let's go in and look at the booth real quick. Yes. Got a Neumann up on the stand right here. And a little hear back system. And obviously view into the control room. Here we go. Quiet zone. This is not going to be quiet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next video, my new camera. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. I made it. The camera still works. <laughs> Who else is coming? Come on, Josh. Come on. Uh huh. Okay, so what's it like to work somewhere where you actually get to take a slide? Uh, it's fantastic. Is, is it frowned upon? No. You can just do it that's as often why, as you want. Here. Yeah. Come on. All right, so now we're gonna go see the theater. The theater's really crazy. I guess you can change the acoustics in there. This is such a cool theater. Wow. This JBL rig that they have up here sounds so, so good. Okay, so apparently they have a, a racquetball court. I mean, does your work have a racquetball court? Holy exposure. Hey, you should, uh, you should really consider putting some microphones in here and piping some audio in from the studio. You have aisles of this. <laughs> if you would like to purchase impulse responses of Sweetwater's racquetball court, links in description. All right, where are we going now, Colt? Okay, now we are going to go check out the warehouse. Apparently there's a whole bunch of like crazy conveyor belts 
and like all kinds of insane stuff and candy. Is this where the candy is? This is where the candy is. Oh, let's go see the candy. I also would imagine that what we're about to see is the maximum amount of music gear in any one location in the world. Is that fair? You probably can't say that officially. Right. Yeah. I'm going to say in the world. Can you do the... Yeah. Just gently caress <laughs> and rub that s subscribe button. <laughs> so many things. AirPods, phone. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. I wonder what it is. Are you sure? Yes. Yep. No strip searches or anything. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all Gibson guitars. Like what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Yeah, so this is where they would pull any gear that you want to try if there's not gear in the store. Like, you know, I don't know, any one of seven billion Gibson guitars. Then uh, they would pull it down here and run it in that van over to the store. Also, probably if you buy something that's not in the store and you'd like to pick it up. Look at these conveyor belts. Okay, let's just, let's do this. How many square feet is this warehouse? 25,000. Oh my God. This, this is guitars. And that's all guitars? Oh, come on. That's all guitars? Whoa, look at that thing. It's like a big old corkscrew. This is all guitars too? Yep. Okay, how, so how many square feet? Ryan has to ask Siri how many square feet Sweetwater is. Oh, well, hold on. What? I think it's 500,000 when you count the, the vertical. 500,000 square feet when you count the vertical, they said. That is insane. Eight acres. Eight acres of, like, look at all this. Hey, there's my package right there. Wait, come back. Oh my God. This is all guitar pickups. Oh my god. Guitar pick I'm not there's no way to even go slow. These are all guitar pickups. I'm not sure a lot of people realize how many accessory style stuff you guys care. Oh my gosh. So this is guitars. There are three, there's, you can't even see the end of it. There are three rows and I'm on the third story. Like there's a forklift. Like what? How, leave a comment below. Tell me how many guitars you think that is. Three rows of this, both sides. How many guitars? That's insane. So apparently we're on the third floor right now. This is all spare space to ramp up for holiday season. Like during Christmas. This is also full. I know I'm a broken record, but I really, I can't get across how the, the massive scope of this. I have no idea if this is gonna come through on video or not, but it's huge. <laughs> candy. Favorite Sweetwater candy, Smarties. Favorite sweet water candy? Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> Going out there. Favorite sweet water candy? Green apple Laffy Taffy. Right? Green? Oh, okay. I hear you. I once got that. But let's, let's be honest. Really? Smarties? Okay. Smarties is the jam. If, if I'll, you, I'll miss you. So, she's pulling gear, getting ready to package it and ship it then, right? Loading docks right there. Like, I don't know if this is coming through on camera, but this is insane. Like, the square footage is insane. Packaging? Yep, so what happens is that the uh, items come through on these blue totes, and then these fine people here grab them out of there, put them in the boxes, throw them back on, and then they get routed to, to the trucks they're going out on. Because even all the products, obviously they're all in boxes, but you have to package them all for shipping. Right. Exactly, yeah. And what's nuts is, at least when I've ordered stuff from Sweetwater, it ships like that day. Exactly. Like it gets pulled and these, these people are like, they're yeah, packaging they're it right then. Yeah, same day shipping cutoffs, like I think it's 5 p.m. our time is when the last trucks head out. So if you order before then, it's going out that day. Oh my gosh, this place just keeps going. <laughs> Come on. So every piece of gear in Sweetwater comes in 
one of these bays. Yeah, in one of these bays, every single piece of gear sold in Sweetwater comes in through there. Which, I mean, I've been focusing that way. Like, the aisles just keep going. Like, you guys, you guys can't believe how tall this is. All guitars not put away. Do you want a cymbal or 700 million of them? Oh my gosh, is, that's like cymbals all the way down. Drum heads? <laughs> oh my god. Studio monitor? Oh, that's random stuff. There's Mesa Boogie. There's some Yamaha HS8s, HS7s. Oh, it's all demo stuff. So this would be all the stuff that you would order that they would have to like pull down the conveyor belt and package up. Would you like a guitar strap? It's a couple thousand of them. So if you want an MXR pedal. Yeah. Or you want a an Axe I.O. Or you want a Tube Screamer. Or you want an Eventide. Or you want a Neumann. Okay. We got TLM 49s. We got, what are these? TLM 102s. We've got, let's just keep going. What's that? Headphones. We've got some Audio Technicas. This is crazy. Some live tracks. Some warm audio compressors. So next we're gonna walk through the guitar gallery. This is every guitar that we get that's over $2.99. Gets pulled out of the box and inspected with our 55 point inspection. Then it gets reboxed up and ready to ship out. So if you buy a guitar over 300 bucks, someone has put their hands on it to make sure it's yeah. good. Yeah, and it gets photographed. So every guitar over 300 bucks is, you know, it gets about a dozen photos. So you can pick out exactly which wood grain you want. Uh, they get weighed, so you can pick out which guitar you want depending on the weight. That's awesome. So I've noticed that myself. I was, lo I'm looking for an acoustic guitar, right? So I'm gonna try to pick out an acoustic guitar while I'm here. And when I was on the website, they had pictures of the exact guitar and they had like the weight detailed photos like the specs crazy detail apparently this is where they do all of that so you know, this is where they take all the guitars that are about to get inspected and then this is the first step along the way so what they're doing here is they're pulling them out of the box they're marking down what the serial number is and getting them ready to go on their journey through guitar gallery There's so much peace of mind, I think, that comes with having yeah, yeah. hands on a guitar that you bought online. Right, guitar, buying a guitar online it, it used to be really scary. You weren't sure exactly what you were getting when you pulled it out of the box, but this way you know exactly what the guitar looks like. You know that it's been looked over by uh, qualified tech. They, you know, they know what they're doing. They're gonna make sure that the guitar is ready to play out of the box when yeah. it gets to you. How many people are setting up guitars and checking so, them out? So in Guitar Gallery, there's about 100 employees total. Wow. Yeah. Right. How many guitars a day get shipped? Ooh, that's a great question. That can, can we find someone? We, we can find someone that knows let's, that. Let's yeah. find someone. Chris, right? Hey, Chris. Nice to meet you. The you Chris. The Chris. Okay. Uh, uh, the one. How many guitars a day get shipped here? So it depends. Uh, it's probably somewhere around seven or eight hundred guitars a day. <laughs> <is my guess>. yeah. <laughs> seven or eight hundred guitars a day. Yeah, it's that, quite a few. How many of those are over the price point where they get set up? Do you think? The vast majority. So anything over two ninety nine comes through the guitar gallery, gets worked on. So that's uh, amazing. We, we put through the gallery anywhere from seven fifty to eleven hundred guitars a day. Okay. That's unreal. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Seven or eight hundred guitars a day. Links in the description. <laughs> Links in the description for all the guitars. Are they taking photos in here? Did I just yeah, see a flash? No. So this is where they set them up. This is the lights against the table and the white brick wall. Can I slide right back in here? Yeah. Sorry to bug you guys. So you take photos of every guitar. Every single one. What, uh, do you mind giving me a quick gear walkthrough, like camera and lens? So we all use Canons. Okay. Uh, this one is the 5D Mark IV. Use a 24 to 105 lens. That's awesome, what's your name? Paige. Nice to meet you, Paige. Thank you very much. They once once really they're photographed, they're restaged, and then they come back here for a final uh, tune-up. Okay, so he was just telling me that anything you want done to a guitar, 
when you buy it, you can have done before they ship it. So if you want new pickups, if you want a bone nut, if you want it refretted with stainless steel frets, like anything other than finish when you buy a guitar here, they can do it and then ship it to you. So there's like 100 people setting stuff up, checking the guitars over, adjusting the necks, and then 30 people swapping pickups and tuning keys and like luthier work. Uh, can we check out a Pleck machine? A Pleck machine is a very specific machine that makes sure all the frets are perfectly level. It's a really cool, it's a really cool thing. Let's check one out. Okay, so this is a Pleck machine. Uh, and so they clamp the guitars in. Here's one. They clamp the guitar in like so. And then it will level the frets in like an extremely precise computer controlled way. A lot, some guitar companies pleck stuff already, like at the factory, but they don't, they're not gonna ever do it to your setup. So like if you change string gauges, if you wanna drop tune, if, if you change your nut or like anything like that, change your action. Technically the pleck or the, the fret leveling needs to change. So here at Sweetwater, they will set the guitar up for you with your string gauge in your tuning, whatever you want, and then they pleck it after that to make sure the frets are flawless for exactly what you want, which is, I mean, that's that's awesome. So this is the electronic repair shop. So if you buy something here, and electronics, and it has an issue, then you can send it right back here and have a tech work on it rather than send it back to the manufacturer and wait forever sometimes. Okay, so uh, I guess that does it. Um, this has been the tour of the Sweetwater campus. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for this one. Stay tuned because there's gonna be a bunch more videos. We're gonna do a bunch of shootouts. Uh, I'm gonna pick out a new acoustic guitar. We're gonna do mic shootouts, couple of mic shootouts, vocal chain shootouts, podcast mic shootout. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, drop me a comment if there's something that you would like to see from Sweetwater here, and, uh, and I'll see what I can come up with. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because I'm not gonna lie, I'm making all these videos for myself because this is super cool. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.